1037 past the hour, live look at the White House and joining us now from the White House, the Assistant to the President for Homeland Security and Counterterrorism, John Brennan. Congratulations and thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Thank you and good morning. Um, so we've been talking about the different details and methods that led up to this moment and obviously there is word out today that waterboarding played a very big role or a role in actually getting the information that was integral in finding bin Laden. Is that the case? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, the information that was acquired over the course of nine years or so came from many different uh, sources, uh, human sources, uh, technical sources, as well as information that uh, detainees provided. Uh, and uh, it was something that as a result of the painstaking work that the analysts did, they pieced it all together. Uh, that led us to the Abbottabad compound uh, last year and uh, resulted in the very successful operation uh, on Sunday. Hey, Mr. Brennan, can you, could you go into that a little bit? Because the intel community, I believe unfairly over the past quarter century, has been eviscerated for everything that goes wrong. But to piece together what they've been able to piece together, and of course you've been through it yourself for years, but to be able to piece together all of this intel when you were flooded every day with so much information, it was a remarkable achievement by the intelligence community, wasn't it? Absolutely. I think it was one of the, the most outstanding examples of sheer determination on the part of Americans who work every day in the counterterrorism community, intelligence, law enforcement, others. And by piecing these pieces together of this puzzle and led them to uh, the Abbottabad compound, it really was a, a fantastic example of interagency cooperation, but also the work uh, of the analysts who have stayed on this job uh, since 9-11 and many before uh, to bring bin Laden to justice. Uh, Mr. Brennan, uh, clearly Osama bin Laden has been on your screen for years, for over a decade. What do we attribute or do you attribute anything to the fact that when he was found, when the SEALs landed, when the operation began, uh, there was such a lack of personal security around bin Laden in that compound? Well, you know, we've used the term hiding in plain sight. Even though the, the compound itself was secured from the standpoint of high walls, barbed wire, there were no visible, you know, security measures as far as uh, sentries or outlooks or whatever. I think they were trying to minimize the tension being brought to the compound. We have a lot of questions about how it was able to be there for so many years with bin Laden resident there and didn't come to the attention of the local authorities. Uh, the Pakistani officials that we've talked to have those same questions. They're conducting an investigation. Uh, we need to understand what type of support network that bin Laden might have had in place. But uh, I, I guess he made a decision that uh, it was easier for him to hide in a place like Abbottabad rather than in the mountains uh, of Pakistan or Afghanistan where we have been quite successful in uh, destroying Al-Qaeda's uh, network of operatives, yeah. trainers and capabilities. Do you know how long he had been living there? It's our information that he was there for as long as six years. Tom, Tom, oh, Bro Tom Brokaw is with us There's and has no a question, way. but Tom, the ISI had, runs that country in large part. Six years, that's stunning, Tom. Yeah, well, the other uh, piece of it, uh, Mr. Burns, that was stunning to me is that uh, you were able to get in and get out of there before the Pakistanis could uh, scramble their jets and be aware that there was a military operation going on, as one of our colleagues here said yesterday, effectively in Bedford, New York, which is just uh, less than an hour away from New York City, that we were able to make that kind of a penetration. It, it seems to me that that says something about the Pakistani military that is not very complimentary. I think it says most about uh, our capabilities. Uh, the president was very, very uh, pointed when he directed us to put together courses of action that was going to maximize chances for mission success and minimize the risks to our uh, assaulters. Uh, this was painstakingly put together. Uh, it was done in a superb fashion, uh, taking into account what the Pakistani capabilities were to detect us going in, minimize the chances of any type of engagement with local forces. That was one of the reasons why it was so tense. And 
in the situation room as we were monitoring the situation, not just what was going on in the compound, but what we might be seeing coming toward the compound uh, during those 40 minutes. And uh, the time it took us to actually depart Pakistan, uh, and it was done uh, with outstanding skill and professionalism. Can you uh, characterize for us, even generally, uh, the nature of the what we heard was a uh, a wealth of intel that you got out of the compound, papers, computers, uh, and other material. How well, would you characterize you it? Well, as you point out, there was material that we were able to acquire during the time on the compound that we're right now going through exploiting, whether it be uh, material, uh, papers, whatever else, as well as what's called magnetic media. Uh, what we're trying to do is to exploit it from the standpoint of seeing whether or not it gives us some insight into terrorist plots that might be underway in Pakistan or abroad, uh, give us insights into al-Qaeda's network, uh, where other senior commanders and officials might be. Uh, so we're moving with great dispatch to make sure that we're able to mine that for whatever uh, insights it gives us so that we can continue to destroy al-Qaeda and to protect Americans as well as uh, foreign nationals uh, throughout the world. John Brennan, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for uh, your service to this country over the past, uh, well, my gosh, uh, well, you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time. Don't go to my age, please. Uh, a long time coming, but thank, thank you. you so much. Great. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it.